Hey guys, welcome back to Construction Simulator 2015 Gold Edition. I'm Brad M73. Uh, it has been a while, guys. <laughs> and I apologize. I've just been really crazy busy. Um, I wasn't even sure if I was going to record this this weekend because I had a really, really craptastic weekend. Um, I smashed my phone and... Um, I had like a year and a half worth of photos, you know, my entire Millennium Falcon build, just a bunch of stuff that I really, really need, um, that I have to, you know, pictures and videos of my dad, you know, just, there's just a bunch of stuff on there, and I don't know if I can get any of it off. The phone doesn't even turn on or anything, so, uh I don't even want to think about it. I'm I'm going to try when I have time. I'm going to try to uh, get in touch with Apple to see if... Uh... Oh, come on now. There we go. <clears throat> to see if it's even possible to recover. Like if they can take out the memory somehow and put it into like a different phone that works. Um, I mean, I would pay like hundreds of dollars to have that done because I really, 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 really need what's on that um, that phone. So anyway, um, I, I, you know, I, I had to get a new phone, so I upgraded to the iPhone 6S. Um, and because I want to get the iPhone 7 when it comes out, I had to pay full, full price for it. Yeah. <laughs> so that kind of sucks. Um, and good news though, the uh, the NVIDIA GeForce 1080 just got revealed today, as long as, along with the uh, 1070. Now those are their new Pascal-based um, GeForce cards, uh, which are supposed to be released sometime at the end of this month. Um, the uh, the 1080 is supposed to be a lot faster than the uh, the 980 Ti's that I have. I should see about a 40% increase in, in performance with the uh, with the 1080. Um, you know, it basically blows the Titan X out of the water. Well, heck, the, the 980 Ti is better. Oh, excuse me, is better than the Titan X. What the crap? What? <laughs> what? What in the world happened here? Uh, well. <laughs> uh. So, uh, and then the um, the 1070, which is kind of like the low end of the new, uh, pro you know, GPUs. I think it's kind of around the same uh, processing power as a like a full 980. Not the 980 Ti, but just like a GTX 980. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know if I'm going to rip out my GTX 980 Ti's and get a couple 1080's or I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Um, anyway, let's see here. Um, we need to find a job, yes. Uh, I don't think there are any... Spe well, there's those two special jobs, which I don't really want to do again. We could do a gardening job, which requires digging. Ugh. There's a warehouse, a big office building, modern family house. Um, I'm thinking probably the warehouse. Let's do the warehouse. I don't know how long this is going to take. Maybe a couple episodes. We'll see. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to look at the time. Okay, so it's 10 o'clock. I've been, you know, going on here for about five minutes. Um, okay, so what do I have to do? I have to get the roller. Oh, he's way down there. Let's just pop into him. Okay. And we're just going to teleport this over to the construction site. And I'm going to take a drink of water. Because I have not been staying hydrated <laughs> lately. Um, I just, man, when I lost my phone, I really, really got, 
you know, just... Uh, it's just all kinds of frustration, you know? And it's, it's kind of sad that we actually rely on them as much as we do. But, like, it happened at night, so it's not like I could just run out and go buy a new phone. And I don't have a phone at my house. So I was basically like, okay, <laughs> nobody can get a hold of me. Um, and then I was just really mad because, like, like, like I said, I just have, like, all these photos on there. Because I take pictures and videos and all kinds of stuff of everything. And, you know, it's just... I really want that stuff back. And I'm still just absolutely sick to death about it. And, you know, right now there's really nothing I can do until I, you know, can get over to the Apple store. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do it tomorrow. Um, I've got a guy coming to install a door on my dad's house. Not the garage doors, but just the front door. So that's supposed to be between like 2 and 4 o'clock tomorrow. And then um, I have absolutely no idea when the garage door people are going to come. That's, that's the last thing that has to be done and we're done. Well, no, I take that back. I have to buy some bushes too. And then, but that'll probably happen before the garage doors... So I'm still thinking that like the garage stores are going to be like the absolute last thing that that we do. So um there's you know just trying to stay busy with that kind of stuff and you know I don't know. It's just kind of the whole thing, this whole weekend has kind of got me down. I hate to complain about stuff, but eh just uh, I wasn't really in the gaming mood much this weekend. And then, of course, it rains. I went over... Actually, I mowed the lawn. I actually really enjoy mowing the lawn because it's just like you can concentrate on that one thing. You have to think about only that. And, you know, you can kind of take your... Or I can kind of take my mind off of everything else. And I find that really peaceful and, you know... And I, I actually found, like, a bird's nest that had, I guess... It looked basically we have these bushes here called honeysuckle bushes, which I actually like. I know they're kind of invasive, and I have to cut them back every year, but um, they uh, they smell. I like the smell. I just do. Um, anyway, th I guess a bird had uh, put its nest in a honeysuckle bush and or, or tree or whatever you want to call it they're kind of bushes but if, if you let them go they can turn into trees <clears throat> um and the problem is is like the branches are really thin they're only about an inch in diameter and so when it gets super windy um you know it knocks the uh, the uh eggs out of the tree so we had to, uh, you know, get these, well, what am I talking about? <laughs> I had to, uh, like, try to mow around them. Well, then I noticed there was, like, an egg on the ground. And I, like, almost ran over it with the tractor, and I saw this little tiny blue egg. And uh, it was kind of sad because after I got, you know, I was going to see if I could pick it up and put it back in the tree um, or back in the nest, um, I realized that, like, there were several other eggs that had smashed against the ground. And, um, the, and when I looked at the nest, it was kind of actually tipped over. So I guess it must have happened, you know, several days before. So I'm sure, like, the little, the little bird in the egg was probably dead. But, um, uh, it was, made me sad. I always kind of feel like taking it home and, like, sitting on it just in case... <laughs> Just in case he comes back. But anyway, that was kind of the sad thing that happened. And then... Oh! Oh, look at that! I, I'm like magic. Roll it clear.
Okay. All right, pour concrete. Can I get... Oh, yes, I can. Yeah. Yay! If I, I could get the big long one, I could just pick up the... Th no, it's not that long. I'm going to get the tower crane because I don't like using that weird suction cup. Suction cup? What the hell am I... What am I talking about? Oh, my God. Suction cups and... Ugh. Small flatbed truck. No. Small flat, flatbed truck with crane. Yes. Now, where am I going with this? Over there somewhere. Uh, you know, again, I don't sleep well. Like, I, it really is difficult for me to fall asleep. <clears throat> and in a way, I'm kind of like wishing that I had never bought the bed that I have. Because years ago... Um, years ago I had this girlfriend she's really tall she's 5'11 and if you're in the metric just convert to 5 feet 11 inches tall I'm 6 foot 4 inches tall so it was nice for me because she was nice and tall well the, the downside to that was we had like a full size bed and she would like barely fit in it lengthwise. I, however, my feet were always hanging over the bottom of the bed. And I was just like, you know, I need to buy a bigger bed. So I did, you know, I started bed shopping and I come to find out that like, I really need a California King. Like I'm okay with the width of a queen size, but it's the length. Like when you get as tall as I am, it's just, it's ridiculous how, like, short the beds feel. You know, you're, you're literally, like, laying in bed at an angle, or you're, like, you know, curled up in the fetal position all the time, which is no fun. Unless you're into that, I don't know. Um, so, so anyway, I bought this bed, and it just never, like, it felt so comfortable at the store, and then it just was never that comfortable in real life. Um, and um, and uh, there's like this new bed that I kind of want to get. It's called the Purple, but I don't know if I I just don't know. It's like one. It's a it's a lot of money. Like that's a thousand dollars that you have to spend on a bed. You know, it's like yes, you spend like a third of your life in your bed. And so you should spend, you know, a lot of money on it. But it's like, you know, I kind of feel that I kind of got gypped with the bed that I have. In a way. Oh, gosh. I gotta. There we go. And, um, and I just. I think part of it's my bed, but I think part of it is just like. I ha always have so much on my mind that it's just hard for me to, you know, clear my mind when I when I go to sleep. And, you know, people have told me, like, oh, you know, count sheep or do this or do that. And I swear nothing works. Nothing. So, uh, anyway... I don't know. I, I'm I'm tired and I'm just kind of like blah, 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 blah. And of course I always record like at the end of the day. I should record at the beginning of the day when I'm like all fresh and you know, I smell all nice and flowery and no. Ooh, I hear a I hear a ship. Are there ships in this game? I don't really think there's ships in this game. I hear ships. I am the best cement guy in the world. Look at this. 
Look at how I do it. It's so fast and accurate. You never know. Oh. Oh. What do I have to get from a material trader? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, another thing I'd like to say is I'm really getting mad at Oculus. Um, I still have not gotten my Rift. The earliest that it's going to come is in a, possibly at the end of the week this week. I really highly doubt it. I think tomorrow's the 9th. And, you know, the earliest I think that it might come is like the 14th. Which, let's see, 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, 13th. No, that would be like the... Is that is the 14th Saturday? Because I, I don't think it's... I don't think they're going to deliver that on a Saturday. I really don't. Um, I'm going to look at the... Uh, give me my flipping whole count. Yeah, it's next Saturday. So, um, uh, I don't think they're, I don't think it's going to be delivered by then. Um, if it is, I'd be shocked and grateful, but, um, yeah, they, they, they've said that, oh, you know, we're having like this part shortage and like everybody's oculuses are going to be running months and months behind. Some people supposedly are, you know, even worse than I am. And I'm going to have to start like harassing them and, you know, calling up to complain because I'm really super pissed that I haven't gotten mine yet. So, you know, it is what it is, but, you know, and, and then other people are like, oh, I'm going to get the Vive. Um, like every reviewer that I've seen review the Rift and the Vive and do a side-by-side -side comparison they all say that the the visual quality is much much better on the rift and that um i think the response time is like a little bit better now i don't know i'm sure they're both great the other downside is the um the vive include well it includes like its own controllers but the control, like, it's like $200 more. So the Rift is like $600. The Vive is $800. And I just, you know, $600 is a lot of money. And I think, honestly, for them to get the, uh, uh, the, the, you know, people into VR, they need to get the price of the equipment way down. Oh, come on now. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to jump in here and get the, uh, I'm going to get the, uh, the bucket out of here. And I, I so wish that I could climb up the, uh, this, you know, the crane. That would be so cool. But yeah, I'm I'm really bummed. I, like I actually had a dream the other night that I was playing the like like I was playing a game in the Oculus and it was like so awesome. And somehow I just feel like like when I when it comes out and when I finally get it, I'm going to be like my expectations are going to be so high that I just there's no like I'm just I just know that I'm going to be disappointed with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> I hope not, but I just have this weird feeling. Wall forms from a root. Okay. I really hope I'm not, though. But I won't know until, you know, till they, till I get it, you know. Watch out, everybody! Crazy man coming through! Okay, 
I think I gotta pick it up over there, but we'll see. All right. Yep. Uh, you know what I just realized? I just realized that I'm probably going to have to go and get the bucket because we're probably going to put these wall forms down and then we're going to have to fill them up with concrete. Ah, okay. Oh, these wall forms. Well, yeah, same thing. So I have never even tried the Oculus. I've never seen one or held one or anything like that. So I don't really know what to expect at all. Um, people are always telling me that like things are awesome, but I am a very, very difficult person to please. If you haven't, if you, <laughs> if you haven't noticed that already, um, <clears throat> I, you know, I just, I don't know. Okay. Ugh. But I just, you know, I just, I'm pissed. And a lot of people are, are mad at Oculus as well because, you know, we're still sitting here months. You know, it's been, you know, it's supposed to come out March 28th. So we're, we're going on a month and a half late on mine. And I, I ordered mine in like the first 10 minutes. So think about like how long you know, the people who ordered theirs like a, a day later or a week later, you know, I, 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 I saw one guy's post. He's like, he's like, yeah, I ordered, I pre-ordered mine a week after the pre-orders were first available. And he said that he got an email saying that his weren't going to be available until like July or August or something like that. I was like, holy crap, I would be epic mega pissed. But hey, I look at it this way. <laughs> If I end up not liking her it, liking it, or if I'm like, eh, I'll take it or leave it, then I'll just uh, sell it like on eBay for ten times what it's worth, right? <laughs> I don't know, because you know that there's going to be people out there that would buy, that would pay a lot more than it's worth to get it. I think I'm just going to have to like plop this on top and then just drive really, really carefully. Oh God, look at... Look how unstable it is. Oh man. Okay. Luckily we don't have to go far. We can just go right down this road and actually park on this street. Well, you'll see what I'm you'll see what I'm getting at. Oh gosh. See, right there. Right ahead is the uh, crane. There she is. <gasps> Poop. 
poop snakes. Uh oh. Oh no. What are we gonna do? I don't know, you guys. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Uh, flat <laughs> upgrade. Oh, wrong crane. <laughs> Mobile crane. No, wrong crane. Power crane, yes. This is the correct crane. Watch out, lady. You better stand back. She's just like, I don't care. What? Whoa. What the heck? <laughs> oh, no. No. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> I did not think I was going to get that. I did not, under any circumstances, think that I was going to actually be able to pick that thing up. I, th I thought it would be in too close. Like, I wouldn't be able to get get that close to it, but... Good thing we can. Okay. Oh, I guess, okay. I never really noticed that, like, the, the cable, like, had slack to it. Or not, well, you know, like it swayed around and everything. Yeah, I cannot see. Cargo. See, like, with a rift, like, like I'm sitting here at my desk and I'm leaning forward because I'm trying to look out over the, you know, the edge. And I'm just thinking, like, it, if you played this game with a rift, like, maybe you could, maybe you could actually lean forward and look you know, look out and over the edge. I think that would be pretty sweet, but, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I don't think that this game will be upgraded to uh, be able to work with VR, though I do have some expectation that they'll kind of have to uh, do that with, like, Construction Simulator, you know, 2017 or whatever the new... The new iteration is going to be um unfortunately we have i still haven't heard anything about it um uh, i i actually sent a request into ask uh, i think it was astragon a couple of months ago and just said hey look you know i'm a pretty big player here on youtube you guys might already know who i am um you know, can you give me some news on on uh, the next um, construction sim? And I haven't heard a peep. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. If if anybody is on, you know, anybody watching this, if you guys are on the uh, construction sim seventeen development team, please get in touch with me. I would love to. Uh, I'd love to talk to you and find out um you know what kind of new features we're gonna see and um and whether or not vr is going to be included <laughs> i don't know you know it is kind of considered a budget title so part of me says you know i don't think they're going to do vr but i really really hope you know that they do and it'll be really interesting to see like whether a company like like giants with farming simulator like if they come out with vr support for the next version of farming sim i am pro i'm gonna say probably not but again i think it i think that that's going to be very important moving forward um and if you don't see it this time maybe we'll see it in you know instead of 2017 it might be in 2019 i don't know we'll see Uh, 
if the next part is is if it's seriously pouring concrete, I'm probably gonna scream. So I'm just telling you guys right now <laughs> to uh, prepare yourselves. Uh, uh, all right. Ooh, the shadow's pretty cool. Okay. So, I guess the f next thing I'm going to have to do is try to get this concrete mixer unstuck. Like... Oh. You can do it. Dun, dun, dun. All right, cool. Uh uncool. All right, so where is this other thing? Okay, it's over here. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, back this up oh, wrong way. I'm going to back this over here. Flatbed truck with crane. Now this time, since I've got the the other flat top crane there, I'm just gonna pick it up and set it right on top of here. I'm not gonna worry about uh, this, tr you know, this truck. I'm just gonna do it with the one. All right. Okay, we'll just pull this guy up here, I guess. Come on, there we go. Uh, where, where are we going? Oh. Strap it on. Like, I really want to be able to look around, you know, freely as I'm, you know, backing up and stuff. Oh, I should point out, I know before I said, you know, the Oculus... You know, the, the HTC Vive comes with uh, its own controllers. The Oculus also includes a controller, but it's like an Xbox 360. Actually, I think it's an Xbox One controller. So it's not like a VR controller. And so people are kind of like, well, you can take it or leave it. Um, you know, I don't know. I, I, don't, I already have an Xbox 360 controller, so I don't know. Maybe I'll use that one because it's black and cool looking. And Oh, watch out, dude. Oh man, I almost hit your car. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, there we go. Oh. But like the the closer I get, you know, to you know getting it. Like, the more I kind of am starting to think about, like, 
you know, what a game would look like or play like in VR. And like, that's something that's just a very awesome concept to me, I guess. Now I have played VR games, um, years ago, there was actually, there used to be these things in the mall in like malls. Yes. Like shopping malls, like, like anybody goes to the mall anymore. Um, there used to be these things in the in the shopping mall. They were like arcades. It was called virtual virtuality, not virtual reality, but virtuality. And um, they had they had like the one the one by me. It had um, there were like two types of games that you could play. One was like a mech game where you actually sat in like a cockpit and you put this this you know virtual reality visor over your head and the thing weighed like 20 pounds uh, and the resolution was horrible I mean compared to what we have today I mean it was just a joke and um, matter of fact you can probably go online and just go onto YouTube and look up vir virtuality and you'll probably find some um, you know, videos on YouTube. So there was one game, it was kind of like a battle tech kind of a game because it was like, you know, big fighting robots. I played that a lot because I was really into battle tech. Um, and then they had like two stand up games. Um, one was like a, um, like you were like a sorcerer or something like that. I don't really remember exactly what it was all about. Um, I never really got that one. And then the other one was basically like you were on a platform with a, with a pistol and there were like all these other guys, like there were like these birds flying around and they were like, they would try to drop things on you. I don't know. Maybe it was, they were just trying to poop on you or something, but they, I, this, I mean, this is going off of memory. I mean, it could have been like completely different than I'm describing, but I just remember like standing, it's like you're standing on this platform and you have like a gun and you know, you have to basically, you know, turn around and shoot and there's like stuff coming from behind you. And that's the weird thing, you know, that's the thing you have to get used to is that it's like, you know, when I would watch most people play it and, and, and this is like, you know, you pay like, five bucks or whatever it is and you know you go up and they they strap you into all this stuff and and i would sit there and watch people play it and they'd get like you know 200 points because like they would keep getting killed because stuff was coming in from behind them so, and then i would go up and i would like i mean I, ah what the crap what was that all about uh <laughs> Anyway, I would go up and I I would be playing the game like it was supposed to be played. You know, and I would say like the first time I played it, I probably kind of did the same thing. But, um, you know, it was like a whole new thing. And, and this was like back in the early 90s, you know, 93, 4, 5, something like that. I don't, it's been so long ago. Oh my gosh. But, um... And oh, I even went to a, like when I was in college, I went to a virtual reality convention um, out in San Jose, California. And they had, they I mean, we're talking like high end virtual reality. They had like a Apache helicopter simulator, like like the ones that like the, the army used to train the guys on the AH-64 and AH-64D Apache attack choppers. Um, they had one, it was like a tank simulator. Then there were other things like, um, uh, you know, NASA or so, I don't think NASA was there, but they had like an application, like, you know, you were out in space and you were like on the space shuttle and you had to like manipulate the, the robot arm on the space shuttle. And so you'd put the helmet on and it was like a very, very simple, you know, hexagonal graphic of you know your surroundings and you know and it it didn't feel like you were there it felt like you were definitely in a computerized environment where i think you know vr over the next you know five or ten years is going to get to the point where you know you're going to start to um 
what are they called the un is it the uncanny valley is that what it's called the i think it's the uncount uncanny valley i could be wrong but the uncanny valley is basically when you get the sensation that like you are actually in this place and that like when you look down at your arms or, or whatnot you actually have sensation in your arms because your mind is telling you that you're in this different world and um and it and the uncanny va valley is said to be like the the place between where virtual reality like stops being like a like a virtual place and a place that you actually believe is real so i guess i guess when virtual reality gets to the point where you actually think it's real that would be that could be considered alternate reality and then they're going to have to build this matrix to like put everybody in and then they're going to you know because nobody's going to want to eat or do anything then they'll have to like you know come up with some type of like gigantic buildings with like pods in them so that like people can just lay there and poop and pee and eat be they can just be fed in intravenously and then um they could probably like develop it in a way so that like the electricity that your battery generate oh wait <laughs> what it sounds like a movie that i'm talking about uh anyway all right so we have to what do we have to do we have to get oh Actually, let's put this over here. How much time do I have left? <gasps> I don't know if that I have that much time left. Don't fall over. Let's take a quick look. I'm going to Alt-Tab. Um, I think I've got pretty much enough time to get... What the heck? I think I'm going to have enough time to get the, uh, the walls. Because we got about a little bit left. We got about 15 minutes left. So if I'm quick, I can probably get over there in time. To get the wall segments. That's why we have to drive like a crazy man. <laughs> like like in all honesty, when I'm when I'm like playing this by myself, like when I'm just playing with myself no, I don't play with myself. Um I I actually am not this um like I don't drive this crazily or anything. I kinda just do this because you know, we're we've got an hour and i want to be able to show you like as much as i can of the game within that hour and because otherwise you know we'd be spending like you know three hours building something that would only take us you know two hours if we were really fast so that's kind of why i do that um i don't think it jives with everybody uh there's no free oh not this again <clears throat> Uh, well, look, lady, um, there has to be trailers because it's not showing that I have any outstanding. Let's see here. All my equipment's down there. 
There's something up at the sawmill. What the heck is what what, what the heck is going on up the sawmill? Hold on. Oh, that's the forklift. Um, hmm. Whoa, look at all the, look at all the concrete things we have up there. We got, there's like four of them. It's like we never have to buy another one of those ever again. Uh, that's where they keep getting reset to. So here's all my man trucks. Well, why? Uh. It's out. Hello. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Boy, I feel dumb. That's because I am dumb. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's been a few weeks, all right? Give me a break. Um, supposedly tomorrow they're going to be releasing the uh, update for car mechanic simulator 20 whatever and um it's like i don't know if i'm gonna start playing that i'm gonna do maybe an episode or two i don't know if i'm gonna jump into it like super hardcore like i was before though because i'm not like really super pumped about it right now oh, come on But people ask me, like, all the time, they're like, are you going to start playing, um, whoops, am I going to start playing, uh, car mechanics sim again? And I'm like, right now I really don't have the desire to, and I don't have the time because I'm just playing so many other things. Um, it's, it's, like, I kind of feel like I basically did everything that I could in that game. Um, I pretty much did all the different cars. And, <clears throat> you know, the game started to become very repetitive. So, um, you know, going forward, it's like, you know, when the new expansion comes out, yeah, I might do an episode to kind of show people, like, what it's all about. But I don't know if that I'm going to jump into it, like, full bore like I, I did. And I, I don't know, maybe I'll be wrong, but it's, you know, it's like a single environment. It's like some, you know, performance pack where... You know, you have to build, like, race cars or drag race. I don't know. We'll we'll see what happens. But, um, like, I just, you know, it, because it's only single player and not multiplayer, I, I don't see, like, the long-term, um, like, replayability or even playability. Like, the, I don't see it creating that desire to, to go back and play it. I could be wrong. I might end up like jumping back into it and really enjoying it. We'll just see. But um, I am planning to do at least one episode this week sometime. Um, and um, yeah. And I don't know what time. It comes out sometime tomorrow on the 9th. And that's all I know at this point. And I'm actually kind of surprised that they haven't um, sent me a key for it yet, because usually they'll do that um, before it comes out for, like, all of the uh, car mechanic stuff. So, I don't know. We'll see. Let's pull in a little bit more. And how much time do I have? Oh, yeah. oh no, I got enough time. I got enough time. All right. Oh no!
Got to detach that. There, now we can do that. See, now you can see it a little bit better. Now, with this game, what would be really cool multiplayer-wise, you know, if you had, like, and I know I mentioned this before, you know, if you have, like, a crew on the ground saying, you know, you, know, you need to go out or left or right or, you know, whatever, I think that would be pretty cool. You know, you'd actually have people on the ground telling you where you need to move your stuff to. Ooh. I thought I was going to bonk that for a second. All right. Unstrap those. Why? Why do? <laughs> why is it that like every time I put these walls down, I always put them in backwards every single time? It, it turns green and I'm just like, screw this, I'm I'm plopping it down. Because as soon as it turns green, that means that I've done enough work. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Whoa. What is it with like, like building parts jumping around everywhere this episode? First we had the other wall segment or the, you know, the wall frame segments or whatever. See, those are backwards too. <clears throat> it's always backwards.
Come on. Thank you. Ugh. There, perfect. Ugh. There we go. All right. Uh, oh no, we've got these. All right. So we're going to have to pause it here because we've got to get the next elements from the steel mill. Um, and I can't remember exactly how we're going to do that. So um, we've done this before, though. Uh, and uh, it'll probably take a majority of the next episode to get this done. Or maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe it'll only take like 10 minutes. Uh, but guys, thanks again for watching another episode of Construction Simulator 15 gold edition or 2015 i guess gold edition uh, i'm brad m73 as always don't forget to like share comment and subscribe we'll see you next time bye for now